guys, it is me, Stace. I'm back today with a brand new Sunday series, and this series we are making a mini album together. I will share with you guys the entire process on making this really cute envelope mini album. It'll be similar to this one as far as size and shape. I'll share with you guys how to do the front cover, the back cover, the spot on the outside, also the binding on the inside to hold the paper. There will be six pages total. Each one will have a pocket. Some pages will have little flaps that you can add more photos to. This one, for example, has a pocket here. You can add photos behind that. Another tag, a little flip out piece here with a pocket over there to hold more photos. A little spot there to hold a photo. Another little tag here, just two photo spots there. Another little tag, a pocket here, a little embellishment there to add a photo behind that and also another tag piece there. And then the back is another pocket. I first wanna go over what you'll need to make this. It's actually pretty simple. The first thing is adhesive. I'm using two different kinds. I'll be using Art Glitter Glue. I get this from Me Me Made It, and also the Aileen's Tacky Glue. Any kind of wet glue you like is fine. Next, you're gonna need a strong double-sided adhesive. This is Sticky Strip. I get this from Me Me Made It as well. You can use Tacky Tape, Score Tape, even the Red Line Tape. You just wanna make sure it's a really strong adhesive. Next, you'll need foam dots or dimensionals or foam tape, and I'm also gonna be using my ATG gun as well. Now, for the actual book itself, for the covers or the, the book, I'm using just recycled uh, cereal box board or cracker box board. I'll be using two each for my front cover and two for my back cover. If you wanna use chipboard, you can do that. You would just need one of those. And then the last thing you'll need is envelopes. I just have these long ones. I'm gonna give you the measurements of these. This is about a little over nine and a quarter, maybe nine and three eighths by four and one eighths. So nine and three eighths by four and one eighth are the envelope size I'm using. The first thing I want to do is, the first thing I did was go ahead and seal all my envelopes. The next thing you'll need is a trimmer. And I'm just using my Cricut brand and a scoring board. A score. Um, okay. A bone folder is the word. So these are sealed. I'm going to first go ahead and just cut a smidge off of one end. Okay, just a little bit there. Flip it around and make this be six inches long. Okay, so we sealed the envelope, cut a little piece off, and then made it six inches. We're gonna do that to all six of our envelopes. Just a little piece off the one end, turn it, and then cut it to be six inches. Okay, so six inches there. Right, three more to go. Again, just cut a little piece off the one end, flip it around, and cut it to be six inches. Again, two six inches there. All right, our last one, again, just cut a little piece off the one end. Doesn't matter which end. Flip it and then cut this down to be six inches. Okay, so we have our six envelopes that are open on both sides. We have these leftover pieces. I'm gonna actually hang on to these. We may be able to use them. All right, we are done with that and that. So we have our inside pages. I'm gonna go back to my chipboard pieces here. Now, each one of these is four and a half by six and a half. This way the envelope sits inside. We'll give you a quarter inch, top and bottom and a half inch on the side where the tags would go. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take my tacky glue. Now I'm gonna glue two of these together. Now again, if you were using regular old chipboard, you would just use the one piece, but I wanna kind of beef these up a little bit so they're not so flimsy. Okay. Put that one on top of that one. I don't need to go all the way to the edge because we are gonna be covering this up. I just wanna make sure they stick together. So there's one cover. Let's do the same with these two pieces here. And again, these are four and a half by six and a half. If you want to, you can use a brayer or a little rolling pin to kind of spread your glue out evenly. I'm gonna take my bone folder here, just to kind of give it a little rub. If you want to, you can also use your ATG tape. Okay, so we have that one. I'm gonna go ahead and 
push the glue on this one as well. All right, so we have our two covers. Now we have the spine piece. This is two inches by four and a half. And again, the same thing. I'm gonna glue these two pieces together. Okay, I'm done with that. I can put the cap back on that one. You'll see here on this one piece, I did draw a line halfway down the middle. So again, the chipboard or the cereal box board piece here is two inches by four and a half, and I just drew a line at the one inch mark because we're gonna need that in a minute. I just go ahead and let that glue kind of grab a little bit. Okay. All right, so we have that done. So we have the base of our book, you can see, will be like that. Okay, we're gonna set these aside. Now you wanna have the outside paper, which in this case is that polka dot, and also the piece for your spine. So for that, you will need two pieces of a pattern paper. They both measure, let me check my measurements real quick. Um, seven and a half by five and a half. Okay, so it's actually an inch bigger than the book or our cover. Then we have the spine piece. The spine for the outside piece, which is the part you're gonna see right here, is five inches by five and a half. The inside part of the spine is five by four. Now on this piece here, you can see this is five inches by five and a half. I came in with a ruler and drew a line at the two and a half inch mark, which is the center. Turned it, I drew a line, I came in a half inch on each side. Okay, and that's gonna allow us to put this piece on here. And I have the line on this piece and on this one, so I can line the line up like that to make sure I'm even on both sides. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do that part now. I'm actually just gonna use my APG gun. So this piece again is five and a half by five. And I drew a line at the two and a half inch mark and also a three or a half inch on each end. And we're gonna just go ahead and put this on there, lining up my line. This one even all the way around. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. So let me get that lined up. Okay, so you can see there the line, it all matches up this way and that way. All right, now you wanna take your paper, whatever side is your front, you wanna have that piece face down, and you're gonna put glue all over this piece next to the chipboard, but you wanna leave yourself about an eighth of an inch. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my adhesive here. And again, I'm just using my ATG tape. And I want this part to be the outside. That's gonna go on the um, downward. And I'm lining this up at the top and the bottom. I'm gonna reline that up, let the glue kind of set in. Okay, so I'm lining this up at the bottom. And then about an eighth of an inch away from that chipboard piece. And I'll bring that up closer so you guys can see that. Okay, so there's my chipboard piece, and you can see I'm about an eighth of an inch away from that. Do the same for the other side. Again, I'm gonna get lined up at the bottom first. And go in about an eighth of an inch away from that chipboard piece. Okay, just give a little bit of rub. So that's what we have there, and that's the back where our spine will be. And I wanna go ahead and add our covers. Now what I like to do is take my roller and just line it up at the bottom here because I know I'm a half inch away. I'm gonna take this piece first and go ahead and put ATG tape on it. All right, so I have my roller lined up at the bottom. I'm a half inch on my paper. I'm gonna bring this and I'm gonna line up this edge of my chipboard piece with the edge of my paper. Again, we're going away from that chipboard about an eighth of an inch or so. Just kind of line it up like that. Make sure I'm straight and even. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now you'll, you'll be able to see better here, hopefully, the, the gap I have there. It's very important to have that gap so we can fold the book. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. Put ATG on this piece as well. Again, just kind of use my roller here as a guide to make sure I'm somewhat straight. And again, I'm going to line up this piece with the edge of that paper, which is one eighth inch of away 
from the center spine part. Just make sure I'm straight. We're close to it. Okay. All right, so now we have that. Okay. All right, now what I want to do is come in, lift this up. This is the whole outside of our book. Lift this up and just kind of bend this forward. Okay, just to kind of create that fold here in our paper. You can also go in on the side and just take your bone folder and just give that a crease. Okay, and you're able to fold that a little bit easier. You just want to kind of start the fold with your fingers first. Okay, we do on this side as well. Just bring your bone folder and just give everything a crease, and then we'll glue this down in a minute. So just take my bone folder. You can, if you don't have a bone folder, you can use a butter knife. Just something skinny that you can make them work with. On this one as well. All right, now we have all that. Now we're going to use that double-sided tape. This is where you want the really strong adhesive because you want to be able to fold this down and have it hold in place. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put this on the edge of my chipboard piece. Okay, and I'm going to go all the way across with it. Like that. Do the same for the bottom piece. to the bottom okay and then on the end piece I'm going to go to the end like that but I'm also going to put score tape on this end as well if you don't want to you can trim this down I just cut this a little bit too long but I'd rather have too much than not enough okay so I have score tape Along, or the tacky tape along all the ends, this piece, and also on that paper part. I'm going to put it on this paper part over here as well. Okay, so I have it on the paper. Now actually on the shipboard piece or our cover. Okay, done with that. I can roll that back up. Now just take your bone folder and just kind of press on all the score tape. Before we fold it over, I do want to miter my corners. Just take a pair of scissors, and I'm going to cut on an angle about one eighth inch away from that corner piece. And do that on all four corners. About an eighth of an inch, I think, is a good measurement there. Okay, and then on this corner as well. This will give us a nice finish on the inside. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take the tape off, the backing off of our tape that piece. And that piece. So take all your tape off, all your sides. So I'm not sure how many videos that this will be, but I do want to make sure each video I complete each step. So that uh, today's video might run a tad bit long, so I do apologize for that. All right, so we have all of our tape off. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this and fold it over. Okay, just like that. And by scoring it, it folds a little bit easier. Flip it around and do the same thing for this piece. Just kind of finger press that down. If your spine comes up, which mine is, we'll come back and tackle that in a minute. Just do the ends here. And you can see by us mitering that corner, it gives us a nice finished look on that side. So we have that. I'm going to take, I'll take the art glitter glue. I'm going to just shove some under here to help hold that flap down. We're going to be covering this part up anyway in a minute. Okay, so we have that. All right, so now we have the inside piece of the spine and also the inside papers. The inside papers measure 
let me check my thing, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So if you take your piece here, this is four and a half by six and a half. I just cut this a quarter inch smaller. That's gonna go like that. And again, for that, I'm gonna use my ATG tape. And you do wanna go to the edge of this piece. You don't want this piece peeling out. So I'm gonna kinda go slow to make sure I'm to the edges of this piece. So now working on this half, so you see here, there's our seam. So this is our one piece. Take this one and you're gonna line it up in the center of that piece. Okay, just like if you were laying her out a card. Okay, so get it straight. Take your fingers and just give everything a little rub. We're holding down a lot of paper there, so you wanna really press that down. And do the same for this. I'm gonna turn this around. I'm gonna take my glue right to the edge of that paper so there's no peeling up over time. And when I get all the sides done, I'll just come in and kind of like that. And again, the same thing. I'm going to go from this side on, centering in the piece there. Now lastly, you want to cover up this part, and that piece is for the spine. This one measures five by four and is the same color as the brown on that one. So you see there's the same width as this one. So I'm going to take, I'll put a piece on this side. So again, I'll take my piece all the way to the edge. Of this piece as close as I can so it's not going to peel up on me. And I'm just going to of there. Okay, and then just going to fold over. So this is five inches by four. Okay. And we're going to put this. Actually, I cut this wrong, guys. Hang on. This should be five by four and a quarter. So I'm actually going to use a different piece of brown. I think that looks kind of short. Okay, so five inches wide is what I'm going for here. Five inches by four and a quarter is what it should be. Okay, so it's the same size as our paper here. Okay, much better. So my spine will be dark on the inside. Normally I would use the same color, but I did mess up, which is okay. And I'll have all the measurements on, my, on the screen of the video. I'm not gonna do a blog post for this, um, but I will have all the measurements. Okay, so this is five inches by four and a quarter. It's the same width as that brown. I know you can't really see it, but the brown there, I'm gonna line it up with my green and also my brown. Okay. So there we have that. Now, you wanna take your bone folder. You're just gonna press on the spine where you see it, and then you can see where it's gonna crease. Take the bone folder and just kind of follow that little divot right there. Okay, and I'm gonna flip it over, kind of give it a little bit of a bend. I can see where it's going to go. And then take your bone folder again, like that. Okay, then you just wanna kind of help it up a little bit, like that. If you're using a liquid glue, it might buckle, that's okay. Just go back in there and press it down. Do the same for this one. Okay, so now we actually have the cover of our book. Okay, so we have the front, the inside, and the back, and it's even on the front and the back as far as the spine. And I can see I have a little bit of glue coming up. Again, you know, you want to fix these errors now when you see them. So I can see that buckling. I'm going to go and take my glue and just kind of shove it in there a little bit and just give that a pinch to make sure that's going to lay flat for us. It's much easier to fix now versus having the book all together. Okay, so there's the actual book. Now you want to work on the part that's going to hold the envelopes. So for that, I have my paper somewhere over here. There we go. All right, now this is um, by Laura Dennison. Um, this is this uh, Follow the Paper Trail. I learned this from her. I believe she was the one who invented this. This is called a Stack the Deck Binding System. So for this, you will need three pieces of cardstock. These are all four inches. So this is one and three quarter by four, two and a quarter by four, 
and two and three quarter by four. Okay, well actually it's one and three quarter by four, two and a quarter by four, two and a three, two and three quarter by four. We're gonna take all three of these, come back in with our trimmer and our bone folder, and we're gonna score these at three quarters of an inch on the long side on each end. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this in here, line it in my trimmer at three quarters of an inch, hold that down, and score. Okay, and flip it around and do the same thing. Line it up at three quarters of an inch. And score. Okay, so there's my score marks. Hopefully you can see them. Take the smaller one. Again, lining that up at three quarters of an inch. Bringing that down. And score. Same thing on this side. Lining it up at three quarters of an inch. And then scoring it. Okay. And our last one. And this one. Okay, we are done with that. We can set that aside. Alright, so you see each one has score marks. We're gonna go ahead and take that and fold on the score marks and take the bone folder and crease them. And you want to crease these both ways. Okay, so I have it going that way. And do the other way. This one as well. So first fold it both ways and then crease it with your bone folder. Get the other side. Oops. Okay. Take this one. So we have our three pieces here, okay? So now you see this one, there's a quarter inch in the center, this one has a half inch in the center, and this one has an inch and a quarter in the center. So go ahead and take your double-sided tape again. I'm gonna put this adhesive in the center of those two score marks, like that. Okay, hopefully you can see the adhesive there. Does not matter which side. This one, I'm gonna take two pieces of that score tape This one we're going to use score tape again. I'm going in between the two score marks. This one I'll probably use three of them. Three pieces should be enough. Okay, so once again we have this piece here, and I put a piece of score tape in the middle. This piece, two pieces of score tape. This piece, three, and they're between the score marks. Right now we're going to basically take, go with the smallest one first, take the backing off the score tape. Remember with your bone folder first, I'm going to do that with all three of these. Okay, take the backing off the score tape or the whatever tape you're using. I'm going to, I have score tape down, so tape side down, and then lay this on top of this one. And I'm just going to basically eyeball it centering in that score mark between the two other score marks like that. Okay, so I have this piece and that piece. Okay, now I'm going to take the back off these two pieces, or the two pieces off of this one back. Okay, so adhesive side down, then take these two score marks and line them up in between these two score marks. And the most important thing is try to be as straight as you can because this is what our pages are going to attach to. Okay. Now we have that. So we should have this folds up, this folds up, and this folds up. Okay, so that's actually the page mechanism. Now we're going to take this. Before we put it on here, we want to take the same score tape and put it on each flap. So you see we have the flap here. You want to do the front flap and the back flap, front and back, front and back. I know it sounds like a lot of adhesive, and it is, but it is important that you do this because this is going to hold the envelopes on, on there. So, okay, so I have a piece of adhesive. I'm going to flip it over, put a piece of adhesive on the back side of this as well. Do the next one. Flip it over. 
I should have worked with a darker color cardstock so you guys can see it. I do apologize for that. But you can just um, go on YouTube and just uh, search Laura Dennison, follow the paper trail, stack the, tech, stack the deck binding, and she'll show this. Okay, so I have one half of that done. So you can see I have sewer tape on all the little flaps. Let's work on the other side. Flip it over, do this side. Put adhesive on the next one. Flip it over. Put adhesive there. Our last one, right there. And then the back side of that. This will all make sense in one moment. Okay, so there's our binding system and it has score tape on all the flaps. Now, I'm gonna take my scissors and miter the corners. Okay, just a little bit off of each corner, like this, okay? On every flap, just kind of a little bit off each corner. I find mitering has, it makes it go together a little bit easier when we write it to attach the envelopes. Okay, so that's all mitered and all adhered. Now we're going to take the backing off of this piece, or the score tape off of this one. And we're going to put this in the center of that piece right there. Okay. So I'm going to kind of hold it like this. I'm going to work at it from the side so I can see it better. And I'm just going to kind of gently just plop it down here. It should be about a quarter inch smaller. Like this a little bit over. You don't want to press down yet until you really got it down there. And I pressed, I pressed down by accident. Okay. So just kind of eyeball it in the center of that. Okay, then it looks pretty good. Before I go ahead and push it, I'm just going to kind of double check, make sure I'm straight. And I think I'm crooked down here. Just going to pick this up a little bit. This is the hardest part, getting this on here straight. But I promise you it is all worth the frustration. Okay, so I have my score marks here. See, I'm too far over. So I think okay, I think the top looks good. I'm going to push the top down. And just kind of pick the bottom up a little bit and wiggle that one over a little bit more. Okay, pretty good. Now just go ahead and push this down. Let me go in between each layer. Okay, so that's what our binding is going to look like. So now our book is pretty much done. So we have the cover done. You can see it's nice and durable. And you have the page where our flaps are, where our pages are going to go. All right, guys, the video is, what, 30 minutes long. I'm going to stop the video on this process at this point so you guys can catch up. Next time, next next Sunday, we'll go ahead and add the envelopes. They're just going to go ahead and slide onto each one of these pieces like this, like that. And that's going to create the pocket and our pages and our flaps and everything else. All right, guys, so there you have it. Today's um, the new, the beginning of the new series of the envelope mini album. Any questions up at this point, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.